Care Bears, it's Haley here. Welcome back to another Raw High video on my channel. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe for daily Raw High videos. Anyways, in today's video, I am going to explain to you guys how you can go through every obby in the new Royal High School for picking your element or picking a second or third or fourth or sixth element. Um, and I'm also going to be answering a question that is asked a lot, which is how to be more than one element. If you go to the elements or power and students tab here you can see here i have every element on this flower i can be any element i want right now i'm nature and i could like change the light if i wanted to because i went through and i was able to do all of the elements and so how you can even start is first of all you probably think that you just go through one of these portals over here um and it'll let you in but that is not what you can do what you have to do first is you need to go over here through the gates and you need to go talk to poppy first first before anything if you haven't yet of course um go talk to her for the first time if you haven't already like talked to her then you should be good but make sure that you do talk to her if you haven't yet okay so i am now here where poppy is at the enrollment desk so make sure you just talk to her and once you do for the first time she will give you this daily planner or diary planner um this is like what your journal used to be but now it's called diary and then this is where your planner is and then your journal is just stuff that you write to yourself so go to the planner section right here and what you need to do is turn the page and right here is the sparkly star achievements so so um, all you need to do is search up element and right here it shows all of the achievements you can get to be able to unlock elements. Um, so basically, when you first start Royal High on the Campus 3 realm, you get one book. But then, if you want to have a second element, you have to get a second book. So unlocking this achievement right here um, gives you a new book. It says you can now study and practice a new element. Go to Enchantraverse to begin your new magic pursuit. So you get a new book. This says book 2 right here. There, Here's book 3, book 4. Um, book five then book six so there is six elements so you can get six books within your um sparkly star achievements so it costs um 50 levels to get book two so that means you just need to level up 50 times from the time that you got the journal or the diary like this whole entire book that shows you the achievements and everything like that and then the second one or really the third one is um 100 levels so you just need to level up 100 times not get to level 100 but level up 100 times and then same for here but instead 150 levels then 250 and then 300 so or if you don't feel like leveling up that many times you can buy the achievements i already have bought them so it doesn't show for me here what it looks like but this is kind of what it looks like except it would be cheaper than what this is right now so that is how you can get more than one element if you're wondering about that but anyways let's go ahead and get into the obbies now anyways i'm gonna start with nature because that is what i started with first First, and we're going to start over the obby so you guys can see how to go through it and a walkthrough for the obby. Okay, so I am at the start of the nature obby. So this is the first checkpoint here. So you need to jump through here. And then here's the second checkpoint. Then you go up these right here. And this one's probably the easiest obby in my opinion. Um, so then we go this way right here. Then we go across this rope here. And then to do this, you need to bounce this way. And then the next rose is right here. The yellow rose over here. And then there's a blue one here. And then a pink one. And then we go up this way. And then here is little roses. Not bouncy though. And then we can go up this way. More platforms. And then we have some honeycombs to hop on. Up here. And then here's our next checkpoint right here. And then these platforms are kind of tricky because they go down again. And that confused me for a bit. So um, just keep a lookout for that one, guys. And then keep on hopping and then walk across the bridge. Be careful. And then we got some more bouncy flowers here. And then here is this checkpoint. These butterflies you are able to hop on and then um go on this one down here up here and then take a right so keep 
jumping up this way it's more easier to jump in on the inner side because they're not as far away and then here are the questions so now for these so for the first question it is um c both a and b and then for this one um this is true and then for this one how can we save the trees um by doing the last one so the very far right ladder then we go up even more right here going up a long tree it seems like and then here is a ladder so let's go up this way and we keep climbing and we keep climbing up just keep going up and here we are this is it right here guys you've made it to the final checkpoint and this is your destination you stand on this to get the element and then once you're able to fly do not go in the portal yet there is a chest right here for 500 diamonds so make sure you grab that one so that is how you do the first location which is nature so let's go ahead and move on to the next element the next element that we're gonna do is water right here so this one is pretty easy okay so i'm at the beginning of the water one so basically what you need to do first is talk to lila here once you have spoken to her though make sure you head over here because you are going to have to find some seashells in the water these are what the seashells look like they're sparkly you need to get 10 of them so that is the first location the next one is over here i'm not sure if they are randomly spawning or not but it is pretty easy to find all 10 of them um it did not take me that long to find all 10 of them it was pretty pretty simple so here's the next one right here kind of like in the middle of the water and then let's see is there any other ones i can see i don't i don't know we could find some maybe near the boat here um okay there's one so i think it might be the same locations because i remember the boat one being in the same spot so anyways let's keep on looking around for the next one here's the next one it's on this hill near this waterfall to the left of lila so right here is the next seashell and then let's keep swimming just keep swimming 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 oh i see the next seashell over there across from here but there's also some in the coral reef so let's go ahead and pick up this one and then we have this one right here to pick up and then we have the one on the hill that i saw and then there's probably just two more around here is there one in this nope there's not oh i see a different color looking one it's red so there's a red one right there so they are actually multicolored. and here's the final one near this shell and it's yellow so they're actually multicolored. anyways now that you have opened the gates from finding all 10 seashells it's time to go through there so let's go ahead and head over to the gates now and let's start this because that was probably the most slowest part so now make sure to do your checkpoint here and then you need to swim down here do not touch any of the coral here go to the far right side it's easiest to swim through here and going in first person is also really helpful because if you hit the coral it teleports you back anyways the first question is what percentage of the earth's surface is covered by water it is the far right one right here so it's 71 percent and then the world's largest ocean is the pacific ocean far left right here and just swim underneath here and go back up and then the next question is um the far right both answers so let's go here and swim through and then the next thing is take your graceful victory dive so you dive down here Whee! and then once you have dived here you make it to the end this is the end of the water one it's pretty easy and yeah so that is how you do the water one so let's go ahead and go to the next one all right so the next one i'm going to go to is the light realm and we're going to do this obstacle course this one was kind of tricky especially the moving clouds part that you're going to see in a second guys we have made it to the obstacle course for the light element so let's go ahead and first head up these very long stairs and this is the first course we need to start jumping on these clouds they're very pretty clouds though 
We are jumping across these clouds. I love like how they're rainbow. It's so cute. I love it. Oh my gosh. Okay. Anyway, so now light test. What travels faster than light? Nothing. Nothing is the answer. Far right. Great choice. You're correct. Light has no comparison when it comes to speed. And now we have this one right here. This one disappears, but it's still there. As you can see, it's already disappearing, but the obstacle is still there. It's just hard to see. So you can just like wait until it's um, about to appear again to continue. That's kind of what I have to do because I'm scared I'll walk the wrong direction. So I'm just going to wait again. I don't want to fall off or anything. All right. And there we go. And bam. Okay. What type of particles make up light? The answer is photons, so let's go through here. And then the next one is moving clouds, which is a little scary, but it's okay. We can do this. It's all about timing. Just waiting until they get a little bit slower before even attempting to jump is what I like to do because sometimes it just goes too fast that you can't even make the jump. So I would go now. Okay, there we go. Ooh, these are really scary. Like the movement feels so random too. So it's kind of scary. All right, go here. And okay, I was going to jump on that orange one, but then it moved. So I'm glad I didn't. And go. Okay, we made it. Which of these isn't a primary color? It is in the middle. It's green. Green is not a primary color. So let's go ahead and go across here. And then after this, we have to go up these stairs and there is like rolling balls. So be careful and do not get hit by them, guys. So let's go ahead, avoid these, try your best. They kind of like show up before they even start rolling, luckily. All right, and we made it. And that is the end of the light element. Okay, so the next element I'm going to do is dark. So it first starts with you going downstairs instead of going upstairs in the light realm or element. You have to go down and then after this you need to walk across this very thin rope. It's actually surprisingly easy. Um, I don't recommend jumping. It makes it harder. Um, just walking across it works. So there we go. We've walked across. And now we need to go on the slip line. And then after that, to your right, after that, there is going to be probably questions soon. Yes. Okay. So um, why does it get dark during nighttime? It is A right here. And then a bridge will appear from picking A. There it is. And then let's walk across. And then after this, the next question is, how many planets are in our solar system? Um, so now it is eight right here. And then we need to wait for it to spawn. There we go. And let's go ahead and walk over here. And this question is true. So make sure to select that. And then let's go ahead and go across. It's going to appear now a staircase after you put in the question. And then you just need to walk up this way and jump if you dare to join the element of darkness. You just jump down here, guys, and you will land on another bridge. And this is, I think, the end. So let's go ahead. And here is the uh, thing that you need to stand on to get the element. And that is the dark element. All right, second to last element we're gonna do is fire. So this one's pretty, pretty simple. So you need to just start jumping on these rocks. They kind of remind me of the nature ones and try to avoid falling in the lava, please. Um, the jumps are pretty easy, not too difficult yet or anything like that. But then um, this part really confused me because as you can see, when I jump on it, the ground disappears so what you have to do for this is you actually have to jump on the sides i recommend being on the left side it makes things easier but yeah it's kind of difficult especially when it gets dark and you don't know like how far you need to jump it's kind of difficult but i believe in you you can do it guys as you can see i did it there we go and now the next thing is a quiz and this is the far right right here and then for the next question, it is the middle one. So let's go through here 
and there we go and then just jump over these poles you don't have to worry about them killing you and then for this one all you need to do is ignite all of the fire this one's already on so just click to turn on this one and then click to turn on this one and if you're wondering why clicking's not working they gave you a fire torch um, near the end there so just make sure to use it anyways so next you need to jump over these lasers and it is pushing you forward so make sure to be quick with jumping there and then after this you need to go up this little fire tower kind of reminds me of like a volcano but the jumps are really easy luckily so let's keep going up and up and up we're almost there guys and this one is probably really easy to you as well like this one's really simple the questions are easy there's only like three questions it's simple and we've made it so now this is the end right here so this one is so easy guys trust me here is the final element that you can do an obby for so it starts really quick and when you turn left make sure to jump over those ice right there okay i messed up there because i was trying to show you guys but there is ice right here that you have to jump over or else it teleports you back so you have to be pretty quick with jumping and here we go jump and then make sure to avoid these crystal shards all around they will hurt you and here we go we've made it up to the stairs here to the next checkpoint once you once you go up the stairs make sure to go up the ladder and then after this you will be teleported to a maze here you have to go down into this maze and yeah you kind of like fleeing into the air there but anyways um if you just were at the fire realm you might have fire powers and you can actually use these powers to melt this ice wall right here and you can get a chest a little sneaky sneaky chest here with a lot of diamonds as well you can get 2000 diamonds so that's pretty crazy but anyways to finish the rest of getting the ice element um once you land here face on go to the right here this is the way so you have to go right and then you have to go right again then you go left and then after this keep going straight all the way and then turn left right here and keep going down this way and eventually you will have to turn left again so let's keep on walking here keep walking keep walking and then turn left here and then after this turn left again then turn right keep keep walking go straight and then turn right and you have made it so that is how you get through the maze that is the location um so now the questions is how are snowflakes formed and the answer is right here it is a so go through here this way and then after this which gas that can be found um so this is b for this question so go to the middle on the bridge and then after this turn left this way go up this hill and go all the way around it like so keep on going keep going keep going here is the next checkpoint and this is the next question and it is the far right answer c and walk across this bridge here and then you gotta go upstairs or not upstairs but up the hill um and i'm gonna try to do a shortcut here let's just try to climb up oh you can't oh, i thought you could but this is the final section and you have these really cool ice knights bowing to you as you walk across which is really cool but this is the final element and yeah so that is how you go through all of the elements okay so now that i went through all of the obbies here is all of the wings that you can get you can use this to help choose like what you want your first element to be if you want or anything like if you like one of the pairs of wings better than the rest i 
suggest picking that as your first element if you haven't gone on yet or just your second element if you've already picked um but anyways here is the first wings that i got which were the enchanted nature fairy wings then i got the light fairy wings and then here's the dark fairy wings the fire wings the water fairy wings and then here's the ice wings so the nature fairy wings and the light wings are like my two favorites and also what i'm also most like which is kind of funny um if you go to the diary planner here um you can see on my diary let's see i think it might be in my planner here right here it says my stats and it says i'm most like light and nature but i'm also most like dark so it's like it's like tied there but yeah anyways that is all for today's video i hope this helps you out with becoming more elements and also going through the obbies anyways if you guys enjoyed the video make sure to leave a like and subscribe and i'll see you guys soon bye care bears